I'm in a field here of Liberty and Link soybeans in central North Dakota. I uh, wanted to give you some of my top tips for spraying Liberty and Link soybeans this year. Liberty herbicide is a contact herbicide, so we need to have good coverage. Spray that 15 to 20 gallons of water per acre is ideal. Uh, the next thing we need to add into that tank mix is dry AMS. AMS works best. Uh, the water conditioners, AMS replacement products really are made for Roundup uh, to help so the water doesn't deactivate the glyphosate. In, in the Liberty Link system, we really need that dry AMS to help uh, with our improved weed control. Uh, nozzle selection may be a little bit different. If you have some nozzles you're using for fungicide work, that's probably best. The XR, uh, T-Jet type nozzles, flat fans, there's some twin fan nozzles that work really well. Uh, you may want to add in a grass herbicide. Most of us are doing that with our Roundup Ready soybeans right now uh, to help with the volunteer control on our volunteer Roundup Ready corn. Um, Liberty's maybe, if anything, it's maybe a little weaker on grasses. So for those tough to control grasses or volunteer corn, adding, uh, adding a generic grass herbicide is not a bad option. And the last thing would be to spray on a day, kind of similar to today, a nice blue skies, nice heat, some good humidity. Uh, Envi good environmental conditions are ideal for spraying Liberty. You want that a little bit warmer temperatures, want that good humidity. Um, just seems to help that herbicide get into that plant, make that good kill. If uh, you're going to be spraying on a Tuesday, it's cloudy and cool, but Wednesday looks a little bit nicer and warmer, I'd probably wait that extra day, uh, spray on that warmer conditions. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call at Peterson Farm Seed, 701-282-7476. Uh, PFS Agronomy Guy on Twitter if you want to follow me there and I'll be posting pictures and other tips along this summer. Thank you.